Suppose we have a single degree of freedom system with mass spring and damper element. With M is the mass, K is the stiffness constant, C is the damping constant, and the displacement is XT. We can write down the equation of motion of the system, which is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx equals to zero. Straightforward, the solutions of this differential equation is xt equals to a e to the power minus zeta omega nt multiplied by cos omega d t plus phi. I'm not going to derive these equations or to show where this xt comes from. You can revert this one in the textbooks, but here we want to focus on an important parameter called damping factor or damping loss factor. And we will show how this zeta or damping loss factor is sensitive to control the amplitude of xt. Okay, first we notice that we have two terms here as the function of time, which is the exponential term e to the power minus zeta omega nt and the cosines terms which is cos omega dt plus phi. Let's denote the first term as x1 and the second term as x2. Now let's plot x1 against time. Here omega n is constant and because we have exponential functions but with negative power value so the graph will decay approaching zero as time increases. If we increase zeta, the decay will be more steeper, approaching zero value in faster rate. Next, let's plot x2, which is the cost functions term, and let's assume the phase phi equals to zero. This will definitely form a cosine graph, which fluctuates by time. And so from these visualizations, we can see that if we multiply x1 by x2 is we multiply each value in the cosine functions with each value in the exponential term. So the graph will look like this fluctuating but decaying response. The slope of the decay will be determined by the value of zeta or the damping loss factor. So if we have a greater amount of damping, then we have the response to decay faster by time. Note here that the time from peak to peak corresponds to omega d, which is called the damp natural frequency. So the period t is equals to 2 pi over omega d. In relations with the undamped natural frequency, this is expressed as omega d equals to omega n square root of 1 minus zeta square. But as zeta is usually small value less than 1, the damped natural frequency omega d is more or less the same as the undamped natural frequency omega n. Okay guys, in the next video we will do the other way around. Say if we have already the decay graph for example from the measurement, how we can extract the information of damping factor zeta from that graph. Alright, see you again then.